Finally tonight, investigators have closed the case of three civil rights workers who were murdered in Mississippi. Correspondent Bill Plant covered the crime for CBS News more than half a century ago. They called it Freedom Summer, 1964. A drive to register blacks long denied the right to vote. At a rally, Andrew Goodman heard what would become his fate. They should expect to spend in jail and that they should expect possibly somebody to get killed. Then 52 years ago tonight, Goodman, James Earl Cheney, and Michael Schwerner were murdered, taken by the Ku Klux Klan with the help of a sheriff's deputy, shot at point-blank range, and buried. Their disappearance shocked the nation and captured the eye of Norman Rockwell, who created this haunting image for Look magazine. I was one of the swarm of reporters sent to Mississippi. In Chicago, where I grew up, racism was easier to ignore. In Philadelphia, Mississippi, it was up close and personal. We were outsiders, met with hostility. President Johnson sent the FBI and was briefed regularly by Director J. Edgar Hoover. Apparently what's happened, these men have been killed. Well, now what would make you think they've been killed? Because of the fact that it, it, it is the same car that they were in in Philadelphia, Mississippi. The bodies of the three men would be found together six weeks later. The names Cheney, Goodman, and Schwerner joined those of more than a hundred other victims, from Emmett Till to Jimmy Lee Jackson, whose deaths would be investigated again after the passing of a new federal law in 2006. 41 years after the three civil rights workers were killed, the state of Mississippi won a manslaughter conviction against one more of the Klansmen. It would be the last conviction. Most of those who knew anything have died. The case that became known as Mississippi Burning is now officially closed. But there's something else. In Goodman's last words to his parents, found on a postcard, all my love, words that heal. Bill Plant, CBS News, Washington.